Hi, Emma, how are you? Hi, I'm fine, It's good thanks. to see you. Yeah, you too. <laughs> how do you get these wonderful curls so beautiful? Because <laughs> I have curls as well, but mine used to be not as beautiful as you or yours, but better than now. I just, like, wash my hair. Really? And I do it, like, very often. Okay. I do it, like, probably, like, when I'm at home, mm -hmm. two times a day. Really? Okay. Which is not good. I know, it's not good. Yeah, I know. Uh, but uh, if not, it would just get weird. But when I was younger, I hated my curls. I wanted to have like blonde straight hair so bad. So I would spend like hours and hours to straighten my hair, which was really, really damaging. Let's just talk about your current single, in which it is a little bit of, I guess, heartbreaking stuff. Yeah. Um, so you're, you're, you're that young, 16 years old. Um, did you ever have your heart broken like really hard, like these really heartbreaking kind of scenarios, like I can't even stand up in the morning. Is this what the song is about? Or tell us a little bit about the, the inside of the song. When I talk to older people and not like you, but like the generation over you again, like, yeah, really old people, they will be like, no, you haven't experienced like really tough things because you're only 16. So I think it's, it's hard to talk about, but yeah, I, I feel like I went through things that was really hard and that had something to do with like my first relationship ever and feelings around that. Um, so yeah, and I went in the studio after me and then my ex-boyfriend had broken up and uh, we wrote about that, yeah. So I, it's, it is feelings that I've felt and things, yeah. Absolutely it is. And I think it's a totally stupid to tell young people like, oh, well, you're not, I don't know, maybe you're not 20 at all, you're not 30 at all, you're not 50 at all. Yeah. You don't even know what you're talking about. This is completely bullshit. Because, I know, I know. Because I, agree. I, I think I, my, my first heartbreak with, I don't know, 12 or something yeah, like that. Right, right, yeah. yeah, you know, and, and, and feelings can be so deep and so horrible, especially when you're out of these teenage kind of dreams. Yeah. And you're really like, okay, I'm growing up now and I don't know how the world works and everything is really like confusing. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And like, so I feel like the first time you probably won't think that, oh, but just give me some time and I'll be fine. You don't think that because you have never experienced that before. So I think that's also like probably the hardest part about the first time. Yeah. I can tell you it gets better. <laughs> 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 and the periods get shorter, you know, because yeah. uh, I remember the first time being very heartbroken in the 20s. Um, they lasted for maybe a couple, kind of a year or something yeah. like that. And now I experience a lot of that in maybe one month or something like that, because you know that there will be, it starts, it is there and it will end. And you know that. And you will get better even if you don't, can't imagine it right now, but you know you will be better and you will be yeah. fine. I uh, read one very uh, wonderful thing and kind of really cute thing. Your mom um, told you not to Google yourself. <laughs> yeah, she did. How did that happen? Um, yeah, and one time I Googled myself and uh, I found this page where some older men were talking about my language in the song, Not Gonna Cry, and that they didn't like my language at all and I wasn't old enough to talk like that uh, and you know it really it really got me upset and sad so and I told my parents like oh have you seen this and they were like no don't google yourself because you never know what you'll find <laughs> so yeah but it's not like I'm not that curious either I feel like it's better to just not know so I, I try to not do that and it's not really that hard. <laughs> um, energy is starting a campaign against um, things like um, bullying people online or hate or criticism in the bad way online. Yeah. So um, did you ever made um, experiences with kind of really get bullied and online in comments on Instagram or YouTube or maybe something like that? Did you get any bad experiences with this kind of bad stuff? Well, I've been very lucky and my I have never like experienced that myself. But I remember there was a time where this app called Ask It, it was just a page where people could send you like comments and messages mm. anonymously. Oh. And they sent some people like the mm, meanest things. Mm. And uh, I think now, no one uses it now, I think, at least not where I live. Uh, but that, my mom and dad was like, you cannot have a user there, that's not all right. Because 
people were really so mean. And um, yeah, so I guess that was the first time I saw how, how ugly people can be to each other on social media. But also, like, um, I've seen like users where you get the impression of that, okay, this person is probably like, he or she doesn't have that good self-esteem or stuff. And you see that people comment and tag their friends uh, on their posts that's not like supposed to be funny or something. Uh, so yeah, but not me myself. Do you remember the last time you really had to cry maybe watching a movie or a TV series or, I don't know, singing a song maybe, something that really touched your heart so, so deep that you got to cry? So often when I just sing in the shower stuff, it gets very emotional. <laughs> even though it, it's not even the, like a sad song, it's just, I don't know why. Uh, but I guess that was like the last time in the shower yesterday. <laughs> and uh, I love to cry. I think it's very important to cry. And uh, yeah, often I, I ask like my closest friends, like when, when was the last time you cried? And then we talk about it and I'm like, oh wow, it's. Is it like a month ago? That's very long time ago. You should cry. <laughs> maybe I have some, some days, like everything, maybe in uh, weather situations like this one we have today in Berlin, like yeah. really, it's not really getting, it's dark all the day. You have these deep gray clouds yeah. above your head and it's, it's really like, like, okay. It's Monday as well. Uh, and this is the time to cry, you know, just like watch a movie or something. And, yeah. and there are some movies who have the cry guarantee 100%. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know, you watch this, you gotta cry three times. Yeah. Maybe Finding Nemo or something like yeah. that, where you know you gotta cry three times. Yeah. Or uh, Ice Age or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, it really is healing, I guess. I saw that on your EP there is um, there's a track called Bad, Sad and Kind of Mad. I really like that one. Yeah. Maybe for a tattoo as well or something <laughs> like that. Yeah. When was the last time you felt really like you get into that mode? Because this is not like sad, crying sad, maybe more a little bit more, I don't know, it feels like a little bit more si so silly maybe? Uh, you know, I had this uh, test in school and it didn't went really good well. I got like... Not the worst grade, but like the grade over the mm. worst, uh, which is not really good. Um, and then, because I had I had like worked to get like a good grade on that test, and I tried my best, and I didn't. So that was very confusing, and uh, I got very upset. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to tell us what kind of what was that? Was that maths or was that? It was uh, physics. Uh, geography. Oh, okay. I hate that. It's the worst. And I don't understand anything and I try to like work with it and read home. I don't understand anything. It's the hardest. <laughs> um, what do you do to calm down? I go home and I sleep in my own bed. I love that. That's my favorite thing in the world after singing, of course. Um, and I try to work out just to like you know, when I'm working, I get very tired in my head, but not that tired like in my body. So I try to work out so like my whole body and head gets, gets tired. And that makes me sleep so much better as well. And then I try to be, to like hang with my friends and spend time with my friends and family and, and do like normal 16 year old girl things. Uh, because I, you know, when I work, I, I am surrounded by like only grown up people. So just to be home and go to school, it's, yeah, that's very important for me. And uh, that makes me relax.